What's up, everybody? Okay, so for today's video, we're going to start our very first beginner series video. And what I want to do today is really look at the bait and lure preference, where to find that information, because I played the game for a little while and I was always like, what do I throw? What What is this fish bite on? What is this fish bite on? And I'm asking my friends. I'm going into the discord. I'm trying to figure out what these fish are biting on. I'm seeing all these trophy shots come in. Hey, dude, there's a diamond here. They got a diamond. I'm getting golds on this. And so I'm asking around, asking around, what are you throwing? What are you throwing? And I didn't realize for quite some time, an embarrassing amount of time, that they have the bait and lure preference for every fish right in the game. And so <laughs> for all the new players that are coming into the game, you know, especially when console comes, you know, for the folks who um, are maybe just brand new, I'm going to kind of go over some just basic information, you know, for this whole series. But today we're going to focus on the bait and lure preferences. So if you're just in your game and you're like, OK, here's the bait, you know, there's the bait and tackle store there. You know, I got to go get something. Let's say I want to go. I want to look for asp. OK, I want to go fish for asp, but I don't really know what they bite on or where they buy, you know, what type of ponds or lakes or, or what they where do they live? I'm going to press I for inventory on the keyboard. We don't know what it's going to be for console yet. So then we're going to go over to our handbook up at the top here. And it's got every fish listed in the reserve. Okay. And then, so ASP is what we're wanting to go for. So we're going to look here. I'm going to look down here at this information. Okay. Habitats, shallow pond, lake shore, shallow lake. So that's what we're going to look for for the ASP. We're going to be fishing around the shores, anything in shallow ponds, shallow lakes. That's where they tend to live. Now we look down at the bait and lure preference swim bait, grub, jerk bait. Those are the three lures that we're really going to want to bring with us to try to get the asp. So there's a catch here. Fish can bite on a lot of things. Okay. So let's say you're throwing these things and they're not really biting on any of these three things. And you're like, dang, like this is what they're supposed to be biting on. And you're just not sure what's happening. If you press tab down here to inspect, it's going to bring up a much, much bigger description of where the asp like to live and what bait and lures they'll bite on. So these are the top three and I tend to I tend to find the top three baits or lures or everything here are the ones that the fish like to bite on the most. Um, I find I get the most production out of these th top three here and the further down the list you go, the less success I've tend to have on the particular fish here. Um, it's not impossible though. It's not impossible. They will bite on all this stuff. It's just I feel like these top three are the ones you really want to target if you're going after a very particular fish. Now, I'm going to give you a little example here um, that I've just recently noticed. We're going to go back and then we're going to go over here to the diamond chub that I got. Right. I got this on stream and I got this diamond chub not on cheese, not on hot dog, not on blood. Work. I got this on if we go to tab. The popper, a size six popper. That's pretty far down the list. Now, what I've noticed is I can really only get the chub to be interested in the popper in the evening. Right when the sun starts to set, I feel like the chub are really starting to bite on the popper. The rest of the time, I get the most bites from chub on cheese, hot dogs, and bloodworms. Pretty much any time of the day. But around dusk, that popper, I can throw that on and get a chub. That's good to kind of keep in the back of my mind, because if I'm, you know, fishing for something else and I have a popper on me and it comes to dust, like, oh, I can throw that out. I know there's chub in this lake. I can, you know, you can try to go for a little bit more fish. That's just something to keep in mind. Now we're going to go back here. We're going to go back to our asp and we're going to say, okay, but you know, are there any other tips, any other tricks to catching asp? We're going to look at these traits. So we've got three icons here. So that means there's three traits, distinct traits for ASP. If we want to look to see what those are, we're going to click F. Aggressive, it goes directly for a strike without nibbling. Typically, this helps in identifying fish whenever you're using like a, like a float setup and you're throwing bait, like live bait out there or, you know, um, any other kind of bait. And um, you get in there and you hit like a little, you hear a little jingle and it hits the thing. And then it'll hit, you'll get the strike indicator. If it's an aggressive fish, it's not going to nibble. You're not going to hear that little bell. It's going to go straight for straight for it. So you're going to get a strike indicator right away. 
So that's kind of how you know if you're if you've got an asp and then hard fighter tries to get off the hook that's a good indicator some fish will just come right in you know pike salmon ass but they're gonna try as hard as they can to get off so you kind of know as you're reeling it in even if you can't see it and then a jumper you'll be able to see them jump out of the water so those are a couple different things to keep in mind whenever you're going for fish and like i said these are on every single every single one and some fish are more particular than other fish like the pike they are not picky absolutely not picky it seems like they will hit on anything at any time of day <laughs> it really feels like that or the salmon the pike and the salmon i feel like are just gonna hit on anything and everything so good luck i hope that helps in the future videos we're gonna go over uh some more in-depth things about what you can do for your setup to target certain fish specifically certain sizes of fish hook size has a lot to do with that so in the next video stay tuned we'll go over hook size and how that uh, affects the different size of fish that will hit your lures and your bait um, and what you can do to improve your chances of getting those big golds and those diamonds. so i hope that helps just a quick tip here for you i hope to see you in the next one thanks